Welcome to our tutorial about using the mirror tool in the sketch environment. Let's start by inserting a sketch. Now let's insert a couple arcs, center point method. Something like this. A second arc now. Right click and select to close the tool and let's shift select these three points at a horizontal relation. Remember the small arrow here represents the horizontal direction and horizontal. Deselect everything. Now let's shift select these three points and add a vertical relation. I'll activate the line tool and we'll place a line right here. Another line, right click and select to close the tool. Now I'm going to add some construction geometry. Right click and chain. Now let's insert a circle. Something like this, right click and select. Now we're ready to activate the mirror entities tool. First we specify the entities we want to mirror. I'm going to window select from right to left to catch everything. Let's check the copy box. Now click in the box under mirror about. We need to choose an entity that'll act as our line of symmetry. And let's accept. Click in blank space to deselect everything. Activate the mirror entities tool. Now select the entities we want to mirror. Let's take this arc and this arc. Mirror about. We'll select this construction line and accept. When the mirror tool is applied, as you see, symmetry symbols are added to our sketch. When I grab and move the point, the symmetrical point moves as well. And this is, of course, pretty handy. Let's undo. OK, deselect everything. Activate the Mirror Entities tool again. Now let's uncheck Copy. We'll select this circle and this construction line. Mirror about. Let's use a construction line, this one here. Our preview appears in yellow. Let's accept. And this concludes our lesson about using the Mirror Entities tool in the sketch environment.